Hey guys, Belton here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get uh, triple implicit bases with synthesis, uh, whatever uh, modifiers that you guys want. So in our previous video, we talked about how to get three implicit synthesis items uh, using the harvest and how they used to come. Um, I, I got a bunch of comments from you guys on that video here, as you can see above. Uh, just asking how can you change the implicits? How do you get them how you want? Do you do that through harvest? So I figured for continuity's sake and because the previous video did surprisingly well, which I super appreciate, uh, we'll just uh, follow that up here. So I'm going to show you guys how it is that you can go from getting just the three basic synth implicits to being able to semi-deterministically make them however you'd like. So if, uh, if you guys enjoy this video, please uh, toss a sub on it, uh, leave a like, really appreciate that. The last video did far better than I was expecting, so I'll, I'll make some more of these if you guys, uh, if you guys enjoy them. But uh, that being said, let's jump into it. So what we're going to be doing, as I said, is uh, deterministically adjusting um, the synthesis implicits. And what we're going to need for that uh, are basically uh, three things. Number one is going to be your Vivid Vulture. All right, so Vivid Vulture is a beast uh, that comes from the beast area, as you can see right here. The second thing that we're going to need are Krejci Chimeros. Krejci Chimeros, similarly, comes from the beast area. And the third thing we're going to need are rare beasts. Rare beasts are these yellow beasts here. When you open your menagerie, if you go to recipes, uh, you might refer to them as yellow beasts as well. The reason why they're called rare beasts is if you see here, you'll hover over and it'll say any rare creature with Vivid Vulture and Krejci Chimero. And you'll see the, the effect of a Vivid Vulture is reroll a Synthesis Implicit modifier. And what a Krejcik Chimeral does is create an imprint of a magic item. So if you recall yesterday, we did discuss how imprints work on magic items in order to get those triple synths. Same effect here. Um, and I have pre-rolled a few, so we'll do some live demonstrations towards the end. Um, now, if you're curious where the uh, beasts that we're discussing here come from, uh, to get the Vivid Vulture, that is going to come from Einhar's Memory of Harvest Beasts. Uh, all of these links I'll put below in the description, by the way, in case you're unfamiliar with how to access them. Uh, but Einhar's Memory of Harvest Beasts, you can see right now, is 373 uh, Chaos Orbs. Uh, and Vivid Vultures exclusively come from there. Sorry, I shouldn't say exclusively anymore. They did add other ways to get them. However, the vast majority will come from there. Krejci Chimeros are just a regular beast. And if you're using your Atlas, you can get those uh, primarily through the uh, Hunt for Krejci in there with the less common varieties and you can do things with doubling them up but this isn't a beast farming video so we won't go too uh, in depth to that um now what uh, as you can see here the vivid vulture will re-roll a synthesis implicit modifier right um and uh, what we're going to be uh, trying to do basically is find a list of synth mods that we want uh there are some ones that are very obviously good um, to access that list, you're, what you're gonna, the one that I use is uh, from PoEDB here. You can see there's a, a list of synthesis implicits. So in our case, we're working on a helmet, right? So I could type helm right here, and then we'll be able to go through, and this will have a complete list of synth mods. Uh, if you're following a crafting guide, or maybe you're checking out PoE Ninja listings, you're probably going to be able to just uh, emulate somebody else. Uh, this is a higher level of crafting, in particular cost-wise. Um, so do be conscientious of that. However, if you want to give it a shot and you're unsure, uh, this is a list that you can check out yourself and decide what you want. In the case of the helmet that I have here, what we're going for is uh, the 92% reservation multiplier, 15% aura effect, and plus one to aura gems. That's what I want to make uh, for this new uh, armor stacker that I'm working on, the ever popular Step Crafter. So the third mod, I do have two of the mods that I want on here already. Um, as you can see, and the third mod that we want there, if I do a little control F, aura gems, there we go, plus one to level of socketed aura gems. Now, there are a bunch of other good uh, implicits that we could consider, uh, but for the purposes of keeping this simple, that's the third one that we want. Now, uh, it is worth mentioning that uh, these are quite expensive and they tend to go up in price fairly consistently. At the moment, Vivid Vultures are 180 chaos, so about uh, 1.2 divs. Uh, Krejcik Chimerals are 120 chaos, about 0.8.9 divs. Um, and then you also have the rare beasts. And that's another thing that uh, rare beasts are basically like the soda for your fast food meal. Vultures are like your hamburger and Krejcik Chimerals are kind of your fries, right? Everyone expects that you're going to get fat from the hamburger. People tend to be uh, fairly conscientious of big greasy food like that. But often actually the soda is what gets people. 
because it's a little bit more subversive and rare beasts can kind of be the same way. If you'll notice that each one of these crafts takes a vivid vulture and then any rare creature times three, right? Which means every single time you use a vulture and every time you use a Kraychik, you're going to need three rare beasts or yellow beasts, depending on how you pr prefer to refer to them. If we come over here, we can see that rare beasts are actually 35 to one divine, right? So that means that every uh, 12 crafts that we do with one of those, we're actually spending a divine on the rares themselves. So similar to the soda, those calories can really add up. So you do want to apply some strategy to this. However, for this video, I'm just going to show you how it works. If you guys are interested and there's a good response rate, I'll make a, a follow-up to this again where we discussed uh, strategy with vultures, uh, some uh, some discussion on the weightings of the implicits, where you can access those and how to figure that out, um, and as well, different times to optimize uh, rolling them themselves. Um, <clears throat> when you're making a triple synth item, uh, just from the, the get-go, it's very unlikely that you're going to hit one of the modifiers that you want right away. Uh, similarly, if you turn a divination card, um, in, in most realistic cases that you're either going to buy a base already that has three implicits, uh, that has one of the mods at least that you want on it, or you're going to use a vulture to get there. Uh, that is because the synthesis weights, or sorry, the synthesis implicits are weighted quite heavily. Uh, there are multiple tiers of them. Uh, this is not public information, and it's one of the things that sort of obfuscates or uh, makes it more confusing with synth mods combined with the price. Uh, in the case that we have here, both the mods that I have on there right now are actually incredibly rare. So this is very cool. Uh, plus one aura is also a very rare one. So it's unlikely that we're going to hit that. Uh, I do actually have about, I think, 180 vultures on me currently. But uh, we were not going to use that for the video. Now, if you just have a base that you bought that just has three basic implicits, um, none of which are the ones that you want. Obviously, at that, at that position, you're just going to be using a Vivid Vulture and you're just going to roll that Vivid Vulture repeatedly until you get whatever one of the mods, until you hit one of the mods that you're looking for. So the ratio in that situation is going to be one Vulture, zero Krejcik's, right? Now, if you get into a position where you have one of the modifiers that you want, you don't want to, you don't want to have that Vulture re-roll away that implicit. Uh, that's another thing that's worth mentioning in case you're unaware and I want to make that clear when you use a vivid vulture We'll do it right now You'll see there that it rolled 20% armor and that 20% armor Replaced the 92% reservation multiplier. So every time that you use a vulture It will only replace one of the synth mods not all three of them and there's no way for you to control which one it picks there is some strategy to it, but again, I'll discuss that in the next video. Now, if you've got one of the mods that you want on there, right, and you use a vulture and it replaces the mod that you had that you already wanted, you don't want to have that bad luck. And that's where the Krejcik Chimera will come in. Krejcik Chimera allows you to create an imprint. So if you look here, I did this ahead of time just because it can take a little bit of time. But when I use an imprint, it'll revert it now to the state that it was in previously. So now you can see it has 92% RMR and the 15% the aura effect with the flat ES again. So the process, when you have only one modifier on there, right, that means that the vulture is gonna have uh, two out of three times, the vulture will re-roll the modifiers that you are uh, trying to roll away. Typically, you're gonna wanna get, uh, obviously, three good modifiers. So that, that, that does mean that there's gonna be a one in three chance that that vulture will roll the modifier that you're trying to keep off of it which means every th every time you use three vultures, you're going to have to use one, one Krejcik Chimera. Now, once you get your second modifier, that's the state that we're in right now. So you can see we've got 15% aura effect and the 92% RMR. So in this case, we're just going to be using a vulture. So I'll do that again. And... Unfortunately, again, it replaced uh, the 92% reservation multiplier. So we're going to have to go ahead and use that imprint again and go back and use the vulture. Now, as I mentioned, um, since this time, we only have a one in three chance. There we go. As you can see, that was actually our third vulture. It worked out perfectly. Um, because it's going to take three vultures on average for us to hit the modifier that we want to remove uh, or to swap, that is, with the, the what the vulture does, that means for every three vultures we use, we're going to use two Krejcik Chimeras. And to, as a reminder, each one of those crafts is going to require three rare beasts. So if you have zero synth mods on the base that you're rolling, it's going to be a ratio of one vulture with three rares and uh, zero Krejciks. 
If you're rolling and you have uh, one implicit that you want, it's going to be three vultures to one cray chick. And that means that there's four total red beasts, which means 12 rares. And then once you get to the state that I'm in currently, where you have two implicits that you want, it's going to be for every three vultures, you're going to need two cray chicks and 15 rares. This is not super important, but because these are rather expensive, you want to make sure that you have some um, uh, some forethought into planning out the balance of them, in particular because rares are rather expensive this league. And uh, that's really the, all there is to it, guys. Um, it's a very arduous process. Uh, it, it can be, some people call it the menagerie prison. There's lots of nicknames for it. You know, since my character is called Stepcrafter, I figure I'll call it a menagerie à toi, perhaps. But, uh, you know... Who doesn't like a good time, right? So that is the way that you can roll uh, implicits to get those crazy bases that you guys have probably seen in some of my videos or perhaps posted on Reddit. Um, this league, you can see here, I've got 12% mana reservation, grace aura effect, determination aura effect. On these boots, I have 25% local energy shield, unwavering stance, and plus one endurance charge. Um, on the ring, obviously the helmet that we have right there, uh, we've got... Um, the RMR and the Aura effect currently. And uh, one of the cooler ones that I made as well, this is actually the rarest possible synth mods that you can get in the game. Endurance charge, frenzy charge, and power charge on one item. And on this one, we've got tier one crit multi, power charge, and intelligence percentage. So uh, that is the way that when you see those crazy bases on PoE Ninja, or if you see them on, sorry, on uh, the trade website for multiple mirrors or the mirror items people post all over Reddit, that's the way that people are gonna get those. So. Uh, remember for the step one video, if you guys didn't check that out already, uh, this is the one that I'm referring to uh, above here. It will be linked at the end of this, um, but that is how you're going to get those triple implicits. And then when it comes to uh, being able to get the ones that you want, it is a semi-deterministic process, but it is very expensive. Uh, however, there are there is some strategy to it and there are better times to do it. And there are actually catalyzing uh, reasons why but beast prices go up or why they go down. Uh, it's tied to several different things, but we can discuss that in a third video if you guys like. So if you enjoyed this, uh, really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, if you could drop a sub, leave a like, uh, let me know in the comments if you have any further questions as you guys did in the previous one. I'll uh, include them in the next video and I'll uh, be happy to discuss some strategy or if you guys want to know about any other basic crafting concepts, let me know as well. All right, thanks guys. See you next time. Peace.